find who does that. Who does the Showtime thing? Do you know who does that? No, somebody told me it's a Philly guy. Oh, hey everybody. Hi, it's me, and unfortunately we're doing another episode of the World Record Podcast. Well, you have to. Whoa, what is that? We have a mouse in the house. Oh, we have a guest. I thought, I thought that was Amanda and I talking, saying the exact same thing at the same time. Like, Ladies and gentlemen, just... Tenry, the H-Train, Phillips. Hey. No, I was going to say, you have to do the podcast a minimum amount of times, right? Uh, what do you mean? Like every month you have to do, you have to turn in, what, eight of them? Or... Got to do four a month, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Otherwise they... They let you go, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they let us go. They kick, our, they kick us out of the union. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Podcasters union meetings coming up. I get those emails, baby. It's like, you got to come. Look, we're marching on Broadway to... Uh, against a- Podcast AI. Against Podcast AI, yeah. 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 yeah that's going to be weird. That's, that's what it's going to be eventually. We're going to be cleaning the studios while the AI is just doing all the laughing and joking around. And- yeah. I mean, it's That's probably <laughs> preferable. I, 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 I feel like the state of stand-up comedy now is uh, like AI would be as, better. It's basically AI. Like oh. people are just, you know, they've studied the. Uh, you know that's that's what like these these comedians are doing now. They just like study Whitney Cummings tapes, and they go, "Oh, okay, I get it. I get how to do stand-up. I'll just do that." Well, we had that doing? back in, uh, <laughs> fixing my don't fucking you remember, headphones. 2006 or something, the MySpace thing. and I was in high school when, in 2006, uh, oh, but that's, go ahead. Like, Dane Cook became huge. Yeah, yeah. And obviously he had a big backlash and everything, but what I'm talking about is that there were all these people uploading tapes of them doing stand-up at their local club, like, uh, you know, open mic night and everything. Uh-huh. And they were just basically doing an imitation of Dane Cook. They weren't... Yeah imitating they they were just basically ripping them off yeah but it was like a kind of a t- weird distorted version of it yeah and that was what you're talking about i mean it's the exact same thing and i think they're still doing it well it's the same with like david there's always tell, the ones too. that shine through when david know? tell was uh the king of the mountain there oh yeah everybody's like hey, <laughs> put it in your butt and then i'm gonna beat him with a globe <laughs> Yeah, it, there's some comics. That <laughs> I, I gotta say, I'll admit, I I was guilty of that too a little bit. You know, it's, yeah. it's well, it hard might even not... be just subconscious. Like you just have watched it so many times, you don't realize that you're doing it. Well, when you're new and you're kind of like finding your voice, I guess, yeah. and uh, and also when it's just like it just kind of easily seeps in, unless you have, because then there were there were all the Hedberg comics too that were. Doing their version of Hedberg. Yeah, and uh, I, as a feature act, I would do a week with Hedberg, a week with uh, Harlan Williams one time, and at the, at the end of the week, whether I liked it or not, yeah. I was talking like Harlan Williams. I just yeah. couldn't get it, you know, and <laughs> yeah. it lasts for several days yeah. afterward, yeah. even in my act. Yeah, yeah. And I'm doing his jokes. Yeah, that's that's where that's now that's why everybody started getting mad at you and all the yeah, backlash. Yeah. That that's, was, oh, yeah, you can read about it. The, and on joke chuckles.com. Theory. Yeah. <laughs> the, that was the big blog back then. Everybody used to, every Monday morning, all the comics would rush to their computers oh, to yeah. read chuckles.com and They'd see what they put on said. their folders because we didn't have Starbucks, Amanda. Yeah. Oh, my folders. God. Folders Starbucks. That was a long time ago then. But it was just Folgers. The, the Folgers store and get your latte. <laughs> That's it? You could only get Folgers back then? It was yeah. just Folgers back then. <laughs> I got my my voice. I didn't. I didn't have time to do my me, vocal me, me, exercises. Me. Did you do your vocal exercises? Uh, no. I usually. Ha! <laughs> well, here, hold on. Let's uh, <laughs> hold on. Let's see here. But I didn't know we were singing. <laughs> Maybe we could do some uh, vocal exercises, vocal exercises together. together. Okay. Together. Okay. Let me find. Ha! A... Hold on. I'll find. A, I'll find some good music to do our vocal so- exercises okay. to, and we'll just do like a two-minute warm-up. Okay. Uh, if you have any police. Well, I, I'm going to try to stay away from copyrighted stuff oh, okay. uh, because then I won't get my fifty dollars a year from YouTube. Oh, that's right. What are you making on YouTube these days? Don't, you just you got a uh, hundred. I'll be honest with you, about two hundred dollars a month. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and but no, but honestly, like I have more than a hundred k views on there. 
Okay. Or vo- uh, followers, no, sorry, even. followers. That's subscribers. what I mean. Subscribers, whatever. And but I only get about five thousand views for every video I put out. So it's like there's ninety five thousand people that are just like not watching it. I want. <laughs> I like them enough that I'll push subscribe, but I don't feel like even watching the first minute of a video. You know, it's yeah. just weird. Yeah. The uh, I saw you posted the. I guess when you get a hundred. Um, hundred thousand yeah they sent me a plaque and everything. they send you a plaque and i thought that it was one of your like henry's kitchen jokes or something and then no, i was, was like real. oh no he does uh i was really happy i was like it was that that scene from the jerk you know when he's yeah. in the phone book and he's like things are gonna start happening to me now that's yeah. what i thought and it was actually kind of ended that way too it's just <laughs> some guy shooting me uh <laughs> all right let's do our vocal exercises Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah! 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 Every breath you take. Little old lady got mutilated late last, last night. Little old mutilated. Little old lady got mutilated last night. That was good. How, how come I'm so low? Can we? Because I can't you don't, hear myself. Because you don't there. play along. That's no, why. I couldn't hear I myself. I hear you Because you don't play here. along. Oh, okay. You don't play along. That's why. And that's why some there kids was... get left out on the schoolyard. Because okay. they don't play along. Okay. Right, Henry? So you're saying it's their own fault for not playing along? It's their own <laughs> fault. Because the kids can sense when there's... You're a victim. You're kids, a victim. Kids, you blame the victim. Kids can sense when there's a wet blanket in their midst. And it's, then they uh, say, I don't want that one on my team. Yeah, weakness is provocative. That was uh, Donald Rumsfeld. Oh, yeah, Rumsfeld. God, I miss I that. I like that I guy. I miss that guy every day. I think about him a lot. It's crazy. Well, yeah, whatever. We, we don't, don't need to go, go down there. the B-hole right away. But it's, yeah. it is funny. We were talking about, weren't we talking about that on the last one with uh, Tom about how, like, like when it's just like there's pure evil right in front of you and it's like the universe gives you like when the flies were landing on Mike Pence's head and birds were landing on Bernie Sanders' shoulder <laughs> remember all that shit and it's just like look the universe is fucking telling you it's yeah. like a movie yeah. and everyone's like yeah, yeah shut up fucking uh, that shit matters and Donald Rumsfeld was just like like central casting of like a bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, and, and <laughs> yeah I mean, they too. look Dick evil. Cheney too. Oh, yeah. They're all just like. Argh. They look like the penguin like, or per- something. Yeah. Permanent snarls. Like, Mitch McConnell. He just looks like a ghoul. Yeah, totally. He looks. And, he literally. He really does look like the guy from Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. With yeah. the eyes in his hands. Yeah. Do you remember that? Do you ever see that movie? I didn't see that one. No. It's good, but there's this really creepy guy. I think being a cooking guy, you would see everything with the word pan or pot. Oh, in it. I probably yeah. should have. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, is, is there any movie with the word pot in it? Uh, Cheech and, no. But did you ever watch a Cheech and Chong movie? Oh, sure. Mistakenly, because you thought that it was about like pot. up and like, smoke. I thought that was going to be a cooking movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was like barbecuing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. That was a great movie. Damn it, I love that movie. I I went to. I think was it that one? Is that the first one? It was oh. one of the early ones. Uh, I watched. I, I I mean I hope I'm not crucified for this. It might have been the by first the one. Jews <laughs> who killed Jesus. Those are the ones who do the crucifying. <laughs> who no actually that was the Romans, wasn't it? I believe so. Um, oh, yeah. I saw Oops. Jesus Christ Superstar. I know what's up. Yeah. <laughs> who was just talking about that? I watched something where they were talking about that. But uh, um, there's some really good songs in that. But uh, the 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 Cheech and Chong. I watched a Cheech and Chong movie. I have this like cable thing. Yeah. This new secret. Uh, cable that I can't tell anyone about, um, and it didn't hold up for me. It was like, and maybe it's because you know I've been watching it since I was twelve years old. I mean, which I, movie I, did you see? It might have been Up in Smoke 
or uh, it was, I didn't watch the whole thing, but it's like, I mean, it's hard to it describe. Again, like when I was like, I think in my twenties and uh, still loving it. I, I was like laughing before the stuff even started happening. I was just like, <laughs> uh, like just seeing the establishing shots, you know, but uh, yeah, it's just kind of a, a goofiness about it, but you're right now well, I we're think, old and jaded and well, nothing here, works anymore. It's <laughs> with the, well, I think here's the thing. Here's the interesting thing with Cheech and Chong. I was a fan before I understood any drug humor. Yeah. Like oh, really like here. I had that album, the that yellow album with the, the dragon. The album, che- yeah. yeah. And I used to listen to that like <clears throat> every night. That was and I've said this before, but Steve Martin's Let's Get Small, that Cheech and Chong album, and Bill Cosby's Wonderfulness and Why Is There Air were like these four albums that I just had in rotation because I like to listen to comedy when I was going to sleep instead of like music. Like I had one of those record players with the yeah. tape decks and and uh I would play them every night when I went to sleep just to like I don't know I liked listening to comedy when I was going to bed and uh that Cheech and Chong album I know like front to back but I'm like I was I wasn't in high school yet when I started listening to it. and I didn't I don't think I got like the drug stuff and then the movies I was introduced to even earlier like when we first got HBO when I was 10 maybe yeah and I'm like I didn't really get the even though it's like right in your face that they're smoking weed, it was like. But if you don't have a reference for it, then you don't really know. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. I mean, my parents were more coke guys, so like you know, I knew you like, were familiar. I with was that, like, I don't know what sugar. this smoking drug is. Yeah, yeah. Like, not, pills. Yeah, pills and uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, huffing paint. It's my been dad so was a long. Big it's a, those movies are so vague, but I think I remember a lot of the bits were, yeah, they were about drugs, but they were sort of it's mostly just two idiots universal yeah doing stuff with that and so i appreciated it for that reason when i was younger it's just like oh these two guys dressed funny at doing stupid stuff yeah yeah like i didn't even pay attention to drug stuff and then when i when you're like in your 20s and you you're smoking pot now you're like oh now yeah. this is funnier on a different level and then when you get into your 30s like me now you're like yeah i don't i know this doesn't really hold up for me anymore. yeah well I think, unfortunately, that's the way it is with a lot of these, uh, a lot of comedy. Not your comedy. I've often said, well, no, I, that's I, true. I, I cringe when I listen to my. Comedy. <laughs> but um, I've often said that no matter what you do in comedy, it's there's going to be a new generation that's going to try to watch it, and they're gonna, they're going to cringe because it's going to date itself. So that's why I say, yeah. don't do it to begin with. Yeah, <laughs> just don't do it. Don't even try. And that way, you avoid it. It is probably better to not. There's way too many. We need to like get some people out of comedy before we let any more in. So uh, who? I'm just uh, just come in on, general. just drop some names. Jim well, Gaffigan. We... <laughs> Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Enough. Enough already. That's right? true. Henry's always going on about well, Gaffigan and how he's like ruining the whole comedy scene. <laughs> Yeah, we shouldn't let him in. We, should, we just shouldn't let him in our, our comedy. Gaffigan, Burr. Uh, yeah, enough of him. Out? Yeah, come on, guys. Enough All right, we get it. You can sell out a baseball field. You can sell out a Carnegie Hall. Yeah. All right. No, oh, you got nothing else to prove. Thank you. Here's your gold watch. It's kind of true. But yeah, After- I mean, here, here we are. I mean, we're in our early 30s. We don't want to hear a couple of guys in their 50s talking yeah. about this kind of stuff. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we have a pretty. Sorry, I cut you off. What were you going to say? <laughs> I don't remember. She was going to say something dumb, I'm sure. So yeah, something fucking Let's stupid. roll back the tape because I think you said enough words that it would probably kick it back in. I don't remember what I was going to say. Mm. Hmm. Well, that just ruined I the just show. You killed it. So, Henry, you're uh, <laughs> To make a joke that we already made. You're, uh, you're a cook. Yes. And um, <clears throat> what's uh, wh- is there any kind of milestones that we're coming up on with your cooking? Uh, wh- what episode are you up to? And how do you um, how do you keep track of them? I stopped those, counting at one point, but there's at least a hundred of them. Uh, many of them are there. on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, so let me think of what's been going. Oh, Instagrams. I've I've had a couple of videos go viral in the last couple of weeks. Night. Nice. Is like, it the one like in the millions? Yeah. Is that, Is that the, the one, one with the What are you making? But you you're asking Alexa to like oh, do yeah, the conversions. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Siri. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. that. Which was the original Alexa and um the uh 
Yeah, yeah, Siri doing the conversions. Let me see if I. There oh, we can put that. I just in. like the where you put your milk. Okay. Hey Siri, how much is one fifth of one tablespoon of yeast? Zero point two tablespoons is zero point zero 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 seven eight gallons. Okay. And it just you have, like you just. Oh, you oh yeah, it's just yeah, a mess. Spilled. Your workstation oh, is a mess. Why are you laughing? It's why I don't like. Yeah, because it's sad. Really, it's sad. It's not, it's I'm sad. laughing instead of crying. But um, so other people people are putting them out there. Like on Twitter, somebody put uh, just a video saying my girlfriend and I are cracking up at this show, and then they did like that that exact one minute clip that we're talking about. And uh -huh. It got like six million views. Wow. And so I was like, well, shit, I better put that same one up. And when I put it up, it's nowhere near. 14 views. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's, at least it's sort of okay. But no, the one that really got people was uh, a couple weeks ago. It was a, it was a part of my Twitch where uh, one of the people in the chat area said, uh, can we use Bofa with this recipe? And I was like, Bofa? <laughs> I don't even know what Bofa is. <laughs> And, uh, and someone else has said both of these nuts. And, then, <laughs> and I was just like, okay, look, guys, we got cooking to do. We, we're not going to be sitting here, you know, doing these types of inane. And, so somebody uh, said that. So in somebody the chat. just, yeah, so we just, I just put that one clip on there, but it's just like, it's like, if you look at the comments, it's, it's like the 10 people that know me. And then there's thousands of people, oh, shit. Shit. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen such a perfect burn. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro got fucking dusted. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. That's, it was like, that's yeah. almost funnier than like <laughs> yeah, just have people really take it get they get really affected by it. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's and, funny. Uh, so that sucks. So you really got burnt. <laughs> you I really, really did. Burnt. I was like for days I just couldn't even leave the house. How long did it like, take for you to even get what the, <laughs> what the joke was? I think I, I think I probably had seen it before. <laughs> now you had, going. I saw, now that you have another viral video out there where it's like you're sitting on the toilet taking a shit and you're jacking off too. If you seen that one? I don't know one? about this. Yeah, That's <laughs> where is that? It's on this dark web. It's on Reddit? <laughs> It's called darkweb.com. It's a toilet cam, I think. I yeah. think it's darkweb.com if you want to oh, see all okay. this stuff. Yeah. What's dark about it? Uh, I guess it's just it's, a guy doing natural human things. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just the lighting. In oh, the, the fact videos. that he's doing it at the same time. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. But Which one, if, if someone walked <clears> in <throat> on you, taking a shit and jerking off? <laughs> doing both at the same time. At the same time, which one would you be more embarrassed about? <laughs> I think that's a good question. Here, Amanda. Okay. Let's Me? See. Well, here we're. This is a. <laughs> if if I walked in on Brendan, which one would I be most well, embarrassed about? Which one would you be more self conscious about? Well, yeah, if somebody probably uh, shitting. Yeah, because really, one of them is. It's sort shameful. Of, yeah, <laughs> you need privacy to do it, but I feel like some you know jerking off. I don't know. People put it online. One is sexy. One is sexy. One is disgusting. I think it's a good question, and it, it's a question you need to ask someone before you build a life with them. So say if it's, say, it's very revealing. <laughs> yeah. You're sitting on the toilet, masturbating, and having a bowel movement. Yeah, are you? This is what you Google say it? to. This is what you say to a. Uh, no, no, are I have a, it? My soundboard's all messed up because I added a sound. Do you know that Red Bar guy? Have you ever seen those Red Bar? Red Bar. It's like this guy he like uh, talks shit about every comedian ever. I don't know. So, oh. Well, he has this sound effect where he's like, and Henry Phillips, Henry's kitchen, blows. <laughs> so he hits, He has this. So I added, I, when Tom Takar was here, I was joking. Either way, I added this thing to my soundboard, and now I don't know where anything is on my soundboard. Okay, well, so which, which would you find more embarrassing? Uh, I'd find it embarrassing that how many people were walking in on me. Just one? Several. That's, I'd find it embarrassing if it was less than 10. Does it vary? Does it vary based on who it is that's walking in? Oh, that's a good question. Right, like if it's Family my kids. Member. Yeah, I would be really embarrassed if I was jerking it. Oh, yeah, you don't want your kids to see you jerking it. They see it. me on the toilet all the time. Well, you're on the toilet. What about this? Time. What about your shitting? And sorry uh -huh. about the language. Hold on, let me, uh, not, here, I can know. bleep it. Let's see here. Uh... Up, oh, that's a zipper. Oh, I just did the blowjob sound effect. Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. Okay, go ahead, Henry. So, what about this? Somebody walks in on you. You're shitting. 
you're jerking off, and you're picking your nose with the other hand. <laughs> so, which one now are you most embarrassed about? Hmm. Let's see. I would say maybe picking my nose, actually. I mean, that's like, you don't want anybody are seeing you, you pick it? your nose. Yeah. Well, unless you eat it normally, but I don't know how most people do. The other three things are things that you eat. Um, Could you repeat it again? Okay. So you're... Uh, I'll, should I do it Jeopardy style? No, no. <laughs> you just repeat the three. Uh, I could turn Jeopardy off. This activity so uh, you're... is the most embarrassing out of shitting. Oh, wait. Okay. Jerking off or picking your nose? Uh, and who's walking in on me? Uh, you're... Aunt. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to say it's a three-way tie. Oh. No, I would say if it's my aunt, definitely jerking off. Hmm. Okay, Henry. I'd probably say the pick in my nose. Well, All right, there we go. That would which be the would only one that I couldn't really explain. Which would you? St- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a BJ sound effect. Yeah. It's a zipper and then a slurp. It's like, it all happens so fast. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Just haven't unzip. you ever had a, uh, you know, a blowjob? Uh, no, I never have. No. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. I, I don't want to name that's, any names. That's what we did before we lost our virginity, right? Yeah, we Back used to just a, go around and blow each other. Just listen. The guys to, would. Yeah. Oh. You know, listen to foster the people and get blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I remember my first concert. It was Ariana Grande. And uh, how old are you? I'll be. I'll be. I'm. Let's just say I'm in my soon to be in my thirties. Okay. Uh. <laughs> We were talking to a comedian, I won't name any names, but uh, you told a story about, like, uh, after a show, a lady, like, a, <laughs> some kind of biker lady went up to him and was like, hey, I'll give you a blowjob. <laughs> so, like, do you like blowjobs or whatever? Remember we had dinner the other night? Yeah, yeah, but you got to tell me a little bit more so that I can remember. Uh, uh, she, it was like, uh, um, here, I'll, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I mean, it's there a mutual were friend of ours. Of us oh, yeah, yeah. It, was <laughs> it wasn't me, and it wasn't uh, one of the other. Oh, yeah, yeah. It wasn't you, it wasn't me. So yeah, we, we were. Uh, yeah, we were doing a show in Fresno, I think, at a biker bar. <laughs> and uh, we were selling CDs. And there's, you know, a line of about 10 or 15 people waiting to buy the CDs. And one of the comics who was buying the CDs. Selling the CDs. Selling the CDs, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> A biker chick came up and was like, "Hey, do you want a blowjob?" And he's like, "Sure." And he just drops, <laughs> drops everything, and they just disappeared into a car. And I was just like, uh, "Yeah." And that's what you heard. You heard a little golf clap. <laughs> <laughs> Is what? that a golf clap? Golf clap. Golf clap. What did she, uh, uh, what was the uh, physical appearance like on this lady? Like when you say biker chick, I'm picturing kind of leathery, Old late 40s. cigarette smoker. Yeah, cigarette yeah, bowling alley. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and so you all watched did this happen? No, we didn't watch. We, oh, we, we watched the precursor to it. Okay. And the post. But you saw him the leave preamble. with her. And then, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, this is a guy who's not necessarily... Ashamed of anything like that is yeah. Funny. I mean, whatever. Yeah, Bottom you can't get any STDs from that. I don't think. Not really, um, but it is interesting because he's a, like uh, Daniel Tosh. Is, oh, sorry, we weren't <laughs> supposed to say who it was. Um, yeah, yeah. Daniel <coughs> Tosh was famous for doing those biker bars and. <laughs> <laughs> I I, I think a, I told you that's a gnarly. I mean, was it scary doing a show there? I don't know. Are they like angry or uh, no? Drunk, <laughs> I remember. Uh, yeah, I remember being worried at some of these shows that I would do. Like, I think I did one in Lake Jackson, Texas. Did you ever do that? And uh, no, everybody was talking about. Oh boy, yeah, there's going to be some 
some people throwing bottles at you yeah. and everything like that. And, like it was going to be the Blues Brothers or whatever with the chicken wire and everything. And uh, but no, it was pretty. Friendly. Yeah, that's yeah. there's that's there were comedy shows that people started. Uh, there was one in Austin where they're like, okay, we put because I guess the Blues Brothers isn't there a famous scene in the Blues Brothers where there's like a chicken wire yeah, that's show? What you just said. And yeah. th- oh, okay, sorry, I was uh, I zone out when. Henry talks sometimes. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> but uh, so they started a show where it was like, oh, it's a chicken wire show. So you can throw shit at the comics. And it's like, why are you cosplaying bad shows? Yeah, like, no, this is, so doesn't this just show like that you're not funny or something? I don't <laughs> yeah. know. That's I, when uh, Brian Hennigan, because he, Brian Hennigan used to hate these variations on stand up. Yeah, yeah. He was just always like, you know what's really good is just a good stand-up comedian doing yeah. their act. Well, that just doesn't exist anymore. You know, why do you have to feel like you have to throw a whole game in there, you know? Yeah. And uh, so going back a second, though, uh, yeah, if you look at, like, Doug Stanhope, if anybody was going to go out there and have actual trouble, yeah, it, it would be a guy like Doug because of the things that he said. But he, right. I think there's very few times, there's probably, like, two times that he's actually been in, assaulted you know after a show yeah no I there i was at a show one time with him i'm doing shows with doug august 10th and 11th in portland oregon everybody get your tickets nice. afternoon delight show.com afternoon delight show.com oh sorry wrong one afternoon delight show.com and uh go to the tour dates uh chicago july 27th 28th Portland, August 10th and 11th. And uh, right here in Los Angeles on July 21st. Uh, so afternoondelightshow.com. Go get the tickets there. And I'm, but August, I'm doing the shows with Doug. Oh, nice. What's the venue in Portland? We're doing uh, Saturday at the White Eagle and Sunday at a uh, strip bar, strip club called Mary's. Oh. Yeah. That's going to be, yeah, they're, they're, uh, that's probably sold out by the time. their strip joints there. I never, have you gone? To yeah. any of them? I, I, you know, it's funny. I've been up there a handful. Of, I haven't been to Portland in, I'm surprised in a while. that you can go to a bar where th- they don't have it going on. Like, <laughs> Well, it's only kind of one little area, right? Isn't there like one well, area? Remember that... when we did the uh, Bridgetown, right? Yeah. And then you've got the hotel. Like literally the, the closest bar to it was like two, two doors up. And it was a bar uh-huh. where a lot of people were going. But they had a girl. With no clothes on? A, a completely naked stripper and i have a f- funny story about it if yeah. i may um yes. well i don't know hold on let's take a vote a train do you want to hear a funny story from henry phillips yes okay that's one yes <clears throat> aaron would you like to hear a funny story from henry phillips yes that's two henry do you want to would you uh okay yeah sure all right. Well, then I don't have to vote because I'd be outvoted. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, uh, we're there. I run into a couple of friends that we haven't seen each other in a while, and it's like, yeah, let's go to the bar here and get a drink. It was like 4 p.m. or whatever, and we're all excited to be in a new town. Yeah. We go in there, and it's like, oh, that's interesting. They've got this one of those strip joint, like the little tub <laughs> that they <laughs> dance in, and the little tub that they dance in. <laughs> yeah. There's like a little. It's Stage? not a platform. It's, oh. it's oh, it's like sunken down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, and um, so you know, we we were the only ones in there. This girl's dancing her heart out. We felt a little bit bad, but she's so dancing like, down in like she's lower than you are. Uh, well, we're at the bar. No, she's just over maybe twenty feet at whatever the dancing okay. area is. Um. Yeah, I said tub, and that might have been it. But wherever the it kind girl of dances, did, yeah, I'm not doing that for. But it wasn't effect. like I'm up trying, high. What else would it be? I'm trying to like. Yeah. Uh, no, it was the same. You know, every all the dudes just sit there and, and watch her dancing like. But this. so she's up though. Um. Yeah, I mean, well, let's say she's on the table. It'd be like you know, this is like the counter, and right? And there's like a foot, you know, in de- okay. You know, okay. Depression. The tub thing threw me off. I didn't off. want to use the word depression because. <laughs> But anyway, so we all went over there, yeah. mostly because we just sort of felt bad because it's like, all right, well, this girl's dancing. We're right. three guys, but we're just sitting here catching up, having a beer. So yeah. we go over there, and we're dancing, and then we all start talking, uh, continuing our conversation, and we're tipping money or whatever. Yeah. And we're tipping money because we're like, well, I, 
I don't want to sit here and not be tipping. It just yeah. feels weird. So, but when you tip money at a strip joint, the response is that they come over and you know start showing everything in your face and stuff like that. And so, I um, threw like a five dollar bill or whatever down there, and then we start talking. And so it was like, yo, where's your shows? Oh yeah, I'm doing one over. And then uh, the stripper came over, and while she's you know touching herself and doing yeah. that whole thing, <laughs> really like, they do that? Oh yeah, she was uh. like, so wait, you're you're stand up comic? And I go, yeah, yeah, I'm doing a show. And she's like, oh cool, where's where's the show? <laughs> and I go, uh, it's at a place called, uh, and I don't remember what it's called, like the Algonquin or something. Yeah, and, the Algonquin. And this is the part that I thought was funny because she's still. So for people who are just listening, Henry's <laughs> mimicking playing with his vagina while he's <laughs> yeah. telling the story. And she's just like, uh, oh, yeah, mm, I heard that place was kind of shady. It <laughs> 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 was just something about the, the activity of it and then her saying that at that moment. But so the follow-up to that that we were really laughing at even harder was that I, I thought that was a funny story, and that sort of became my story of the week that right. I was telling. But every time I told the story, I would notice that there was a particular girl looking in my direction right at the moment where I have to pretend like I'm fingering a <laughs> vagina. And it was just like, why is it every time I'm telling the story right at that part is when I look over and she's yeah. like probably like, why, why does this guy keep <laughs> doing that? <laughs> it was just... Uh, and it'd be funny if, like, she works here or something, and she just took a peek in here, and I'm doing it right now. <laughs> it's like, really? It's been 11 years, and he's still fingering his vagina. Who was... Uh, did you ever find out who the lady was? Uh, I, I think she worked for the the establishment. She was the I head of Universal. Correctly. Yeah, exactly. NBC <laughs> Universal. She's like, we just can't have that <laughs> yeah. on our mainstream uh, You know, I, we'd be happy to pick up that show that he pitched, but he's always kind of playing, like it's, he mimics playing with a, his vagina. Yeah, <laughs> it just doesn't. It seems like it's some kind of nervous tick know, or like, something because I saw him do it like eight times around Portland. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I mean, I'm hip. I get it. <laughs> but kids, you know, I don't know if kids like that kind of thing. Yeah. Unless they're shitting and picking their nose at the same time. <laughs> that was a callback, what I just did there. Yeah, that was everybody... Uh, if anybody just tuned in now, they'd be like, why am shitting and picking their nose? And that would also Thank be you. interesting if people are just kind of tuning... Like, if they're like, I'm going to start this podcast 25 minutes into it. And, yeah. Because it seems like that would be <laughs> the right time to jump in right now. That's right. Do you have any uh, sponsors, uh, f like cooking sponsors or anything? <sighs> um. There's the Yoke Buddy, this thing called Yoke Buddy, where it's like a little yellow thing that looks like an egg yolk, uh -huh. and you squeeze all the air out of it, and then what it's supposed to do is suck the, like when you get shells in your work bowl, Okay. Um, it's supposed to suck out the shell, but it never works properly. <laughs> okay, and that's and, a sponsor? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, we'll just, but and, so are they, are you supposed to be promoting it, or... Yeah, okay, sure. Everybody get the suck buddy or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, it's the... Uh, <laughs> suck buddy. Or yoke buddy, sorry. Suck buddy is... Suck a, buddy's a better name, Suck buddy's the name yeah. of my favorite video on uh, online. Suck well, let's it. see if we can get you some free stuff here. Let's call a place. This is a... Um, let's see if uh, this place will... <laughs> suck buddy. You get a lot of shells in your... When you're working yeah, with eggs, you do get a lot of right? shells in there. Yeah, I do for sure. Well, Brennan, you did. Do you have a bit about something called the suck buddy? Where, where, where do I know that term? Is that a a, a legit porno? Uh, I don't know. Paraphernalia. I don't know. Suck buddy. Uh, well, it looks like this place. Stand up doesn't. comics talk about it. Suck buddy. I don't know. I don't. I've never said those words together. Okay. <clears throat> I don't like my voice today. I think it's your headphones. Your headphones no, no, are no. It's I, I. There's a certain time that uh, <coughs> sometimes my voice sounds like a frog. It's like I'm kind of like it's just boring and monotone, and I don't like it. So you don't know who this Red Bar guy is? Red Bar, no. Yeah, he's he makes videos. Is he a comedian? Where he's I don't know. His, I don't know his backstory. How, it's on how, YouTube. How would I know him? YouTube and like, uh, like it would just come up on my algorithm. Or somebody would send you a video, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I, nobody's ever sent it. Also, no. I all I ever get is guitar stuff because I look at guitar. Yeah, stuff yeah, that's good. Like 
uh, David Gilmore live at Pompeii. Or I whatever. think he's touring again. Uh, David Gilmore? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Uh, There's I, an I album go- live at Pompeii that is just fantastic. Is it? Yeah, it's it just David Gilmore live yeah, at Pompeii? Yeah, doing all of his... You know, he does like money and... Uh, money! Hey! It's a gas. It's a gas. Grab that cash with both hands and make a set. New car caviar for star daydream. Think about me, a football team. It's so good. But it's also live and you can feel the... It's live at a huge, like, outdoor amphitheater, and uh, it's great to crank up. Amphitheater. Ant- they have antitheaters. What about uncle theaters, huh? That's right. <laughs> if you have an antitheater, right, A-Train? Mm-hmm. No, it's Ampa with a P. Well, why not have an uncle? Uh... Ampla. Yeah. So, so go yeah. ahead. It's. Uh... I guess because it amplifies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> You know, you know what I listened to. Uh, I was listening to Pink Floyd's. Uh, what's their last album? Is it the the? I, I think it's it's got to be their final album under the moniker Pink Floyd. After with no Roger Waters, the with learning to fly on it. What's that? Momentary lapse of reason. Is that the name of the album? Um, isn't that a Tom Petty song? No. Uh, either way, I saw oh. when I was just a young boy. I saw Pink Floyd in like 1989 at the Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia for the, wow. uh, is it Momentary Lapse of Reason? Lapse. Yeah. Pink Floyd, studio album by Pink Floyd. Don't You don't, you don't remember uh, Learning to Fly? No. no yeah, I do now. Learn uh, to fly. That song? No. Looking for a sky to save me. No. That one? Learning to fly. Is when I hate no, that that's point. Tom Petty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Learning to fly. Wait, you mean? Oh, I know what you're doing. You're doing the last dance with Mary Jane. Is that the no, one no, you no. mean? <laughs> oh yeah, no. Oh I, my I know what my. You mean. Oh hell yes. Ain't that America something to see? <laughs> that's what you're thinking of. Yeah, you're wrong, Brendan. That's not what you're thinking of. Oh, you're thinking. Don't you want me, baby? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh my Ooh, God, that loud. scared me. Of course, I know this. This is Pink Floyd. See, I was too young for this. This happened way before I was born. Yeah, I mean, I, Amanda and I were born right about the time this song was coming this, out. Uh, yeah. came, this uh, came out in 2018. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You saw Roger Waters at Old Cella. That was great. Roger Waters was is definitely, cool. you should go see him. If yeah, comes yeah, around. I'd like to. Are they going to do like, uh, or is he, it, it seems like he would probably do this sphere thing because that's a big. Oh, you know that what? would be That's cool. a good one. Yeah, I would go see him like at the sphere. Like they're doing like, didn't you see shows there? I went and saw Fish with, yeah. uh, with, here comes a name drop, Drew Carey. What, what uh, was Drew Carey playing? He opened for them. Oh, he did okay. like tw- ten minutes of comedy I thought maybe before he was jamming. Fish. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, he stayed. He was kind of jamming, but he was telling jokes. Like, do you ever see whose line is it anyway? Yeah. Well, sure. like fish. It was like they were doing kind of a thing like oh, that. Oh, people were like, but with it's really it's like improvisational. People were like uh, colonoscopy. Yeah, and then <laughs> film the, noir. And a, yeah, and a guy would play bass like a yeah. a bass lick. Based on colonoscopy <laughs> and Drew and, and then they'd uh, make Wayne up, Brady, they'd make would up do a whole song about it. Yeah, yeah, they would do a whole. It was just like it That's was kind of hard well, to kind of focus. I mean, when you think about it, the improv art form is very similar to the, what Fish does. It's just they're using different instruments. Yeah, totally. Um, that's great. You should actually save um, that for a, a real podcast. Oh yeah, because it's a real conversation. <laughs> no, no. What were we talking about uh, right before that? Uh, the the sphere. David Gilmore. Oh yeah, yeah. Roger Waters that doing would be the sphere. A, a great show. But right prior to that, we were talking about the, old cello. Uh, you were listening. That's what you've been listening to. Shit. YouTube stuff. You get guitar oh, stuff yeah, on YouTube. YouTube. No, you went yeah. back too far. No. No. Yeah, I'm somewhere in the middle. Um, because you've been watching a lot of him at Pom- yeah, live at Pompeii. Stuff. Yeah, that live in P- Pompeii is a great album. You can hear it. Drew Carey well at recorded. the Sphere. I saw Fish at yeah. the Sphere. I don't know. Ah. It's gone. It, well, the Sphere is a great like a- venue, but it's it's like twenty thousand seats, 
which is uh, that's big. Mm-hmm. And to utilize that space, it's uh, there's got you got to put a lot of work into you know all the visual effects and stuff for the show. So you're gonna have to do at least a week's worth of shows there. So the only, I mean, Roger Waters is a good, that's a good one. I hope they, I hope they do that. Um, because it's like, how many artists can really sell a hundred thousand tickets outside Taylor of Swift. like, fuck that shit. Taylor I, Swift would do a good show there. At the Sphere? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they probably can't get her. Yeah. Uh, I bet it's, I bet it's in the works. I, she'll do like a month residency there. But it, I'm so. saying like non CIA operatives, like actual artists. Beyonce. Again, CIA. She would be good She's there. CIA. She's Illuminati. Is that all dance music? It's just all <laughs> bullshit. Like I'm saying CIA. any kind of. CIA puts out some pretty good dance They have. Put I know. Out some Their pretty songs are catchy. Uh, but Roger Waters, but I'm just saying like outside, because it's like Bruce Springsteen could do a month there. But like what kind of visual, like, you know, that's not the kind of show. Where you're like, oh man, like you know, like Grateful but Dead. But I never thought you two would have been either. And apparently they weren't. Like Drew went and saw you two and was like, oh my god, that's why he went to go wanted to go see Fish. Yeah, because he went, he wanted to just see the Sphere, and you two did like a week or two there. And he went multiple nights because he was like, oh my god, this place is amazing. And he was like, that was mind blowing. I don't even like you two, but. That's uh, what most people that I talked to said. They said I'm not even a U2 fan, but I came yeah <laughs> i don't think does anybody like does anybody like you i went too, to see just, remember right before marley like was their born yeah, first I was song, new year's day and then just and and sort of sunday bloody sunday and that's well new year's day and you do you know that song it's like where may old acquaintance be yeah, I know that one. forgot that's all that the end or something it's you two's new year's day <laughs> the one i'm thinking of is uh we'll be with you again <laughs> yeah. Wow, how did I do that? I will be with you again. Wow. I don't know that song. Sing it. I will be with you again. <laughs> I don't know that one. It Mouse sounds too. like we're going to do. I, I hear the colorful clothes she wears. I hear the clothes she wears. What am I talking and the semen in your hair. <laughs> Remember that? Something about Mary. Yeah, I, I thought oh, that. they did a parody? I thought that was snot in that scene. I didn't okay. know what it was that he was putting in his hair. I th- at first I thought it was, and then I thought it was snot. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's get I'm you some free. Down, <laughs> okay. Thought it was. All right, let's get you some free stuff. Okay. Have you gotten any free stuff from your cooking uh, videos? Any? uh... Uh, Unfortunately. Because you could use a knife, probably, right? I I noticed, and I don't, I'm not critiquing your videos, but. uh, Like a sharp knife. Hi, this is, uh, I have uh, Henry's Kitchen on the line. Uh, This is Kitchen. Yeah, yeah. So we're looking to get some free stuff because Henry has a popular YouTube channel for uh, for cooking. Uh, hold on, please. Okay, thanks. Hurry up. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. Patreon.com slash world record podcast. 